everyone. Hey guys. And good morning. Good and morning. Happy Sunday. Yes. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. Illuminated here in the living room because it's so gosh darn dark. It is. It's uh, all rainy and overcast. It is. It's horrible. So we've got our studio lights in here today. So if we're a little bright, then that's the reason why. Um, yeah, we often get sent things yes, to try do. out. Sometimes we purchase them ourselves and sometimes we get sent them. And we've tested all sorts of things before. Um, there are a few people out there that are producing 3D printed items to mm -hmm. pour from, which we love. We are one of them um, with the leaky cup. And we love that people are actually making the fluid art and acrylic art a business for yes. themselves. Why the devil not? One of the really awesome set of products you can get is from acrylicpourintools.com. It is. It's actually Tracy Reed, mm -hmm. who has her own channel. These are fluid art tools produced by artists for artists. Mm -hmm. And she happened to send us a little gift box full of like really awesome stuff. Now she has stands and she has splatter guards and she has split cups and she has bottle bottoms yeah. and she has all sorts of stuff. Swiping tools. Swiping tools, oh, yeah. which we've still got to use. But in this episode, we're both gonna use the split cup. Yes. Now it's a four chamber split cup. It is a four chamber split it's cup. It's 10 ounces, but there are multiple kind of sizes that you can get your hands on on the channel on her website too, acrylicpointtools.com. Um, but we're gonna test it out and see how it goes. Yes. We'll be super honest. One of the things that you always say to anyone who sends us anything is, we will be honest. Um, but we're gonna mix up some colors and two, two different techniques. We're gonna mix up some colors? <laughs> yeah. <are. laughs> what a surprise, shocker. I, was, I couldn't remember whether we mixed up different colors or the same colors. No, it's the same colors. What are you doing with it? I'm gonna be doing a ring pour. No. No, I'm not. No. No. Are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that's right. Yes, so we, I'm doing a ring pour. We might have poured these a couple of days ago and I've forgotten myself. No, you did. <laughs> it's because we've done a few pours since. You are going to do a ring pour. Yes. I'm going to do a straight pour on a lazy Deborah. Yes. Ta ting. There we go. The yes. little brain cells are kicking in yes. this morning. So, um, yeah, you're going to do a ring pour because you always do. And I'm going to kick out one of like Fiona's, the straight pour on the lazy Deborah. See, see what happens. Yes. Get that pinwheel effect, maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, without much further ado, thank you again, Tracy, for sending us these products. Let's get to a, the table and see how they work. Let's get to the table. Let's do it. For a ring pour. And then another cup of coffee. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and as you can see, I am bundled up. Oh my god, it is jacket. 50 degrees <laughs> in the studio today. It is so cold. I've been in here for what, maybe half an hour, and I can't yeah. feel the tips of my fingers. Yes, it's, it's cold like, in the studio today. But tomorrow it's going to be 75. So. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be really nice. So Sunday is going to be a Welcome beautiful day. Welcome to Dallas bipolar weather. Right? Like it's it 88. Is. I thought Chicago was like bipolar, where like, you know, but this is crazy. Well, it was 88 degrees on Tuesday. And then it was 45 and raining on Wednesday. And then it was 70. Yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous. It's been all over the place. Uh -huh. It's ridiculous. But I, but I don't hate it. You know, it is what it is. So what is on my canvas? Is that a rhetorical question or would you like me to answer? No, I'll answer it. Go for it. Thank you. <laughs> um, this is acrylicpouringtools.com, 10 ounce split cup. And look at this, you guys. It has like this really cool, like, like pointy lip, pointy lip yeah. kind of thing in it. I'm really excited about it. This is Tracy Reed's company. Tracy Reed's company. So it has the a handle. Wonderful Tracy Reed's channel, who we will link below. Uh, Mina Villegas has actually been using these a lot. I've seen Mina use like the bigger versions. Yeah. Tracy was a guest artist at one of the Fluid Art Boutique events. Yeah. So Tracy's been around a while. Yeah. And her pour, I think she has something ridiculous like 80 plus different pouring tools on that website all of which you know this is like pouring tools by artists for artists yeah definitely really love these tools so, so, i can't wait to use yeah it's today. our first time using it yeah i'm going to be doing a ring pour on this it's a 12 by 12 canvas now one thing yes. tracy we will say is normally we go real big yeah so um we're going to go small on this one because it's a 10 ounce cup yes so i'm excited i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> so today i have um amsterdam all the way <laughs> titanic white Tit titanic white <laughs> this ship's going down exactly um i also have uh arteza 
um, a pearl electric blue. You've even got your glasses on, girl, and you can't read them. I know, right? Yeah. Um, I have turquoise green by Amsterdam. You did want teal by Golden. Ours has yeah. actually gone off in the tub because we haven't used it for so long, but that's a good equivalent. Um, we have Deco Arts Metallics, uh, 24 karat gold. Love it, of course. And one of my absolute favorites, Phalo Turquoise. Phalo Turquoise Deep. Yeah, um, all of the colors that are by Arteza and Deco Art, our affiliate link is in our description box as always. Yeah. If you want to get yourself a little discount, please go use them. I just noticed something on the canvas show, Pony. What is that? Is it plastic? It's plastic. Yeah, it's off the wall. So, um, so your plan is to ring pour, you said. Yes. I hear you say. Yes. Um, are you flooding your your base I first? I am. I'm going to oh. do, yeah, I'm going to flood my canvas first. Nate Bright from Nate Bright Art just did an episode on his channel of what the differences were if you ring pour onto a canvas with no nothing on it at all, yeah. a canvas with a flow extender and a canvas with a base coat. Yeah. And he you actually he actually showed the differences in the three compositions. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was really cool. If you haven't checked that out, please go and have a look. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm going to layer my cup. Love it. It's a four chamber. It is a four chamber. You got five colors. I got five colors. What was your plan? I'm gonna do uh, the golden white in one chamber. In one chamber, got it. Layered, and then the other colors are just flat. Yes, I love that yes. story for you. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you like that story because that's the one that's gonna become reality. Oh wow! Okay. And did you have you thought about where in the chambers they're gonna go? Um, not really. Okay. Honestly, I really haven't, <laughs> to be honest. Um, well, but, stop, stop, collaborate, and listen. Would you like to think about it now? I, I'm gonna do, yeah. actually, okay. the gold and the white in this one here. Okay. I'm gonna do the phalo turquoise in this one. Okay. Next to this one, I'm gonna do the electric blue in this one. Awesome, like almost light dark, light yes. dark. Okay, yes. that's why yes, I yes, asked. Yes. So See? I'm gonna start out with the electric blue. Okay. Yeah. Just all we had to do then was just take a breath. Well, I kind of would have thought about it in my head. But okay. I would have gotten there. Answers in the comments with you if you actually think that the show pony would have actually gotten there or if he would have just winged it. Whoa. Did you ease your cuppeth almost overfloweth? My cuppeth is almost overfloweth. Okay. What's next? I'm going to do white gold, white gold, white gold. Okay. I like that idea a lot. White. Little bend of the knee there, I saw. Gold, yes, a little bend of the knee. As I would have said on, what is it? Uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Bend, bend the, the knee. knee. Jon Snow. So more white than gold in that one, it is fair to say. Yeah, I, you know, gold really sells up, so. It takes over sometimes. It too. takes over sometimes, so. Yeah, you don't need a whole lot of, whole lot of, lot of. Okay. Then I'm do, gonna do the phalo turquoise. And this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas because it's a 10 ounce split cup. Yeah. So we didn't want to do multiples. We wanted to just use this once. Yeah. And that's why we're doing it. Yeah. And then this beautiful uh, turquoise green. It is beautiful. It is. I'm loving this. I know it wasn't. It's more green than the teal that you were kind of planning on using. Yeah. But I still think it's pretty. Yes. Okay. I'm loving this. Okay. I'm loving this. All right, so. So hang on a second. Yes. Are you, are you, did you, I think you said you were gonna put a base coat down on your canvas or are you not? Yes, I am putting a base okay. coat down on my Good. canvas, which is right here. Now that is actually a lot of leftover colors. It is a lot I of leftover I threw some colors. white in it because it was a very dark blue for some reason. Was it? Yeah, but um, I think it's a really nice blue. It kind of looks a little King's bluey. It does look a little King's Bluey. It wasn't actually fully mixed in there, I just noticed, look. No, that's but That was fine. my bad. It's only a flow extender, right? It's only a flow extender. I'm sorry, a base coat. Uh, yes, a base coat, not a flow extender, yes. All right, you guys, I got my split cup here. I am ready to start ring pouring. Go for it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes.
10 out of 10 on the dismount. Thank you. I'm liking these colors. Yeah? Yeah, it's really interesting. Using the split cup is always really interesting to me. I like this. Me too, it's pretty. Yeah. I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like stretched out. Well, how are you gonna stretch it out? Tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this ring port out. Let's tilt it. All right, guys. Wow, I am loving what happened with this. Yeah? Yeah, the colors are just so pretty together that that, you know, uh, electric blue, pearl electric blue is really interesting in this. Yeah. And um, I'm, of course, love the phthalo turquoise, the white and the gold composition with it. Um, I'm just, I think this is a success. I, I love really it. love this. It's very pretty. Yes. Are All you right. going to scrape your edges and take them in for a close-up? Scrape my edges and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it. Well, show pony. Yes. That was a wonderful ring pour. Thank you. Yeah, I like those colors. I like the, the color choices that you made, actually. These ones with the colors were brought to you by show pony, in fact. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do something 
using exactly the same colors. Okay. I'm also using the the, the wonderful split cup by acrylicpourintools.com. Please check out Tracy. She's got some wonderful tools on there. She's got stands for the feet. She's got these wonderful contraptions that you put cardboard boxes in. So when you spin, paint doesn't go everywhere. They're like splash guards, cool. which are cool. Swiping tools, all manner of things on there. And I know she's developing new tools every single day. Um, so I'm gonna use the same colors. I'm gonna do the straight pour using my lazy Deborah. This one is actually Jessica Winterstrom's leftover from the Fluid Art Experience. Yes. Check out Winterstrom Art if you want to have your hands on one of these wonderful spinners. And I'm gonna layer the colors you actually made me remember so that you can kind of mix the white and the gold together for a really wonderful effect. So thank you for that. It was one of the benefits of going second is watching you do your wonderful pour. And I am mixing white and gold in this very first chamber. So when you're using split cups and when you're doing these straight pours on the Lazy Debras, you gotta think about where your colors are going because the chambers in which you put your colors will absolutely have an impact on your composition. And um, what I found from watching lots and lots of, of Fiona's videos and, and having a go at this and kind of practicing these pores ourselves is that the outer chambers tend to create their highlights and the low lights in your composition. So I, I tend to put the lighter colors on the outside for one of these split cup straight pores and then the darker colors then go in the middle. But let's see what happens. It's very different to the way you did your ring pour because it's a different outcome that I'm looking for. Yeah. Now, um, should I put my base coat down on my canvas? No, I'm gonna do a flow extender. Okay. So you did a base coat and covered your canvas. Yes. I'm gonna do a flow extender this time. Got it. Okay. Um, all right, Pete, actually, no, you know, I'm, I've changed my mind. I've absolutely changed my mind. I'm going to do what you did and I'm going to put down a base coat also. Okay but I'm just gonna use my white. All right, so I did put a base coat down. It's just the white out of my Amsterdam pot. Next, let's pour this one onto the canvas. So going fairly steadily in one spot and may move it around, maybe not. Well, let's see what happens. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. On on camera from far away, it's very pinwheely. It's got a real like pinwheel design yeah. to it. All right, show pony. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you sure yes. you're ready? I'm ready to. Uh, you <laughs> spin me right round, baby, right round like a wrecker, baby, right round, round, round. And stand back because. <laughs> 
because <laughs> I'm not sure how far this paint's gonna fling. So let's do this. Okay, I can see already it's not particularly central, so I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. Wow. Huh. Wow. I really like that. That, sec that, that second spin really worked. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, she did. It's got a little bit of an eggy, kind of oblongy <laughs> kind of composition to it, because I did have to move the, the composition back into place again. Um, but wow, look at all those colors. Yeah. I, I think it's really interesting. It's really pretty. I like um, it. Yeah, I like it a lot too. I am not going to spin this one again. I noticed that all my edges are actually completely covered, which is which is one of the things I needed. Um, and I'm going to just scrape the edges, and I'll take you guys in for a close up. Very nicely done. Interesting. So how did you like your ring pour? <laughs> it was a ring pour. It was a ring it pour. It was a ring pour. How did yes. you like it? And, and more importantly, how did Tracy's cup work for you? Tracy's cup is great. I love how on the inside of the cup, it kind of goes down like this, the, mm -hmm. the, the chambers, mm -hmm. and then it has the point that goes up like this. Right. So when you pour, they actually meet together and then form that stream out of the cup. Right. And exactly like that. <laughs> That's the universal sign language term for the stream out of the cup. Yes. Oh, oh. okay. Kate would like to go outside. Someone, someone needs to potty. Yes. So, uh, so yes, I liked it. That blue really threw me for a loop. Right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> someone really needs to potty. <laughs> Take it away. No. <clears throat> so someone didn't need to go. No. He just wanted to go outside. He wanted to go play. He needed some attention. No treats for you, Tater Tot. Nope. Um, all right, I forgot where we were, but you liked the spout, you liked the cup. Um, for you, it worked well, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I agree. Um, I like the fact it has 10 ounces on it. Yeah. Because I always forget how big the cups are. Yeah. So that really helps. Thank yeah. you for that. It's labeled really great. Labeled really great. The handle, I tend not to use a handle even if there's a handle on it. I, I prefer to hold the cup. See, I prefer the handle. Well, and the handle makes absolute sense for those people that need to, to hold on to it. Yeah. So uh, it, the fact that it has handles is perfect. Um, yeah, it worked really well. Um, the 10 ounce cup was a little bit tough to clean. You, mm. you wouldn't know because you didn't, <laughs> but, but I did halfway in between the pour and then afterwards, I hope I've cleaned it out afterwards. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so yes, it was a little tough to clean because the chambers were quite tiny, mm. but you know, any small split cup is going to have the same issue. Um, overall, I think it worked really, really, really well. And I can't wait to try a lot more of Tracy's products too. Yeah, um, yeah, it's going to be a fun day today. I can, I can feel it. Um, it is, it is a Sunday fun day today. It is. It is, and there is a big train today. Yes. It's got Gina and Mina in it, and I think there's Brian and Nate yep. and Feral Art, mm -hmm. and also Anuka. Oh, Anuka design. Yeah, it design is there too. I think so. That's so. I think it's going to be a little bit of a longer train today, which we are starting off. So if you're here with us, thank you so very much. We appreciate you. Um, I think we need to give this little boy some attention. I think we do too. I think we do. So let's get to that. Happy Sunday. Happy training. We've got some really, really good stuff coming up. We've got a huge 36 by 36 inch kind of flip cup affair that we're going to be working on. Yes. We've got something that I don't think has ever been done before on a fluid art channel. Not this big anyway. Absolutely. I've got something I'm working on, which is something you've never seen before with blobs and height and all sorts of really wonderful yeah. stuff. So yeah, please stick around. Please consider sharing us to your socials. If you haven't already hit that notification bell and resubscribe if you've been kicked off because some people are telling us they have. Yes. And we'll continue to throw out content as long as you continue to watch. Yes. And if you don't like, just double click that th thumbs down button twice. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, people. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you from all of us and Tate, and have a great Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye.
So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It's a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial. Yes. Where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step so we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel it means an awful lot to it us it does mean a lot to us so we have some thank yous and at that gold level we have we have trisha west we have terry leshner we have tammy housebrook we have stephanie hancock we've got sharon luffy the wonderful pocket rocket patsy petrelli <laughs> we've got nate bright art We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Jones Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one, yes. as most of you have. So thank you so very much for being with us. Yes. We really genuinely do appreciate you and your support. It allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And to everyone else that's down here below, we honestly can't thank you enough. It really does mean the world to us. So thanks guys.